Uh, Neil Bortz giving us a commercial. <laughs> Yay for Neil. What do you think, Garrett? Can we do it? Do what? Going to make it? I He's trying. Think. He's doing all geeky things over there. I can tell the whole hour he's been like staring at the thing and trying to figure it out. <laughs> Out of my wheelhouse. I yeah, think I got it back up and running, and it's about to be better than it ever was. No way. Yes way. Unbelievable. <laughs> right, Jennifer, with a new Jennifer's update. Doing. Jennifer's doing our news today for us. The new update made it even better. If we missed any of your questions on Instagram, you can go ahead and ask them again on here, or go to the website and ask them there as well. Yeah, do it here. This way everybody gets to share it on the okay, faith on the I website. I'll get to it with you. Sometimes I trip over Yes. Yep. Our timestamps are back in line. The um, video and the audio are lined up. Your shirt looks good. <laughs> I don't know about your forehead, though. Yeah, it's a lot of forehead. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, my brain's pushing my hair out. That's what it is. <laughs> I always had a big forehead. Even in high school, I mean, look at pictures. I always had a big forehead. I always had a big forehead. Just getting worse, though. She's a green smile. <laughs> we Latinos, we Italians, <laughs> Hispanics, you know. We are live. Brought to you on WSB by Virtual Imaging. The information person is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you could spend a little time with us today. Always a pleasure to have you here. We're talking today about home remedies that really work. Kind of fun things. And so uh, you may pick up one or two tips today. And if you want to hear this show in its entirety, you can always go to my website, drjoe.com. We have audio and video of this show. We have over 1,000 hours of audio and video uh, podcasts there, too. So if you like what you're hearing, uh, share it with your friends. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Send us your email address. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll put you on our newsletter uh, 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 list, and we'll send out newsletters. And we send out health tips. Sometimes we have specials on supplements. We have special uh, pop-up lectures you might want to come to. It's a lot of fun. And um, we also do testing in the office. Uh, somebody called before about uh, testing. Uh, we can do a food allergy sensitivity test. So if you're serious about wanting to know what you're allergic to, we can actually do either a blood prick or we can do a um, uh, saliva test for that. We do a male hormone panel, and this is important, boys, because we want to make sure the hormones are no normal. And for women, too, not just for romance, but also because the hormones help control a lot of our health issues. So you can do that as well, and we have them on the website, drjoe.com, and we have the nutritional testing. Uh, it's all there. We can find out what specific supplements you need. So if you want to do that, it's all on the website, drjoe.com, or make an appointment to come see us. Even better. It's a lot easier. So we're talking about home remedies that really, really work. Let's start out with some callers here. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. Dave, how can we make your day better? Well, Dr. Joe, you, you, you there? I'm here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You caught my interest a little while ago when I when I heard you mention one of my little friends, the neti pot. But yes. But you left a lot of allergy sufferers hanging there. Yes. In Georgia, we use it every day. I need to know how often I can use it. I would probably Without causing problems. Yeah, I would probably go to every other day to every third day because you don't want to flush out too much of that bacteria in there. But here's the thing with allergies too, Dave. Many times when you have allergy reactions, it's because your stomach isn't breaking proteins down properly. So your stomach's job is to take proteins and break them into amino acids. Now, if these big chunks of undigested proteins make it into the small intestine, they can get absorbed into the blood system, and the immune system starts attacking these undigested proteins. Now, when you're exposed to something like Georgia pollen or whatever it is, uh, the immune system is kind of busy fighting off this undigested food, and the allergies are a lot worse. So in many cases, we adjust or pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm, and the allergies get better. You can also try Dr. Joe's digestive enzymes, especially during allergy season, because the digestive enzymes will help break the proteins into amino acids, and that can help with the allergies as well. How about that? Well, one, one more question, if sure. I may. Absolutely. Well, I am on a CLL patient, and I am on acid blockers because of Barrett's esophagus. Yes. Would that hurt anything that I'm doing there, being that I've got reduced acid because of those with my esophagus? Absolutely. That's probably why you're having so many allergies, because you're not breaking down your proteins properly. So with Barrett's esophagus, you might want to come see us, and we can pull the stomach away from the diaphragm and see if we can get the stomach below the diaphragm so you can start digesting your food properly again. 
Um, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, it's a, that that may help all the way around. So yeah, come see us. All right, thank you for the invitation. Thanks, Dave. Uh, my pleasure. And that's a big issue, folks. We've done a show a couple of weeks ago, actually, on digestion, and um, it, it was two hours on nothing but digestion. And boy, the phones lit up, and uh, we got tons of uh, messages afterwards on my website, drjoe.com. So, yeah, it's a big issue. I always say the number one re- thing we see at our offices is pain. We're chiropractors, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, uh, car accidents. And please, i got to say this. If you've ever been in a car accident, ever, if the car was damaged, you were damaged. You need to come see us immediately when you're in a car accident. And that goes for you, your friends, your family, your coworkers, your children. Please. Because if you have a problem, the longer you wait to get it treat, treated, the worse it's going to get. And then eventually, you start to develop arthritis, nerve damage, and then people come to us 2, 10, 20 years later and say, Dr. Joe, I've got these problems. We can help usually, but it would have been a lot better if you came to us right after the accident. And don't go to some of these scam doctors. Um, it just drives me nuts. People come, oh, I went to the doctor, and I got a, you know, whatever, this treatment, that treatment, and now the case is closed, and I'm still in pain. You really want to get real treatments, and we'd love to be your doctor. So you can go to the website to make an appointment for any reasons, drjoe.com. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge in the Atlanta area. So we're talking today, and also, also the supplements are on the website too, drjoe.com. We're talking about home remedies that really work. I talked a little earlier. I want to go back to this because we, we have a lot of pain patients, of course. Um, and pain is the number one reason we see patients. Acid reflux and heartburn is the number two reason we see patients. So if you have those issues, come see us. I did mention ice, but you don't have to necessarily use anything fancy. A bag of frozen peas or just a plastic bag with some water on it, in it is fine. If you want to make your own ice pack, you can take a Ziploc bag, put uh, about half water and half rubbing alcohol, put it in there, zip it up. It won't freeze solid. And then you can put it on, uh, you can use that as an ice pack. You can use really any alcohol, but I'm going to be, you know, politically correct and say use rubbing alcohol. And just put it on there, uh, 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Don't use ice for more than 20 minutes because then you can go into frostbite. Now, it's probably a lot longer than 20 minutes, but 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, and that'll help bring down the inflammation. Uh, Please don't ever use it beyond that uh, because after that you can start having some problems, and then we have to try to fix that as well. And we talked earlier, never use heat on an original injury, or a new injury, because there's inflammation involved. So I teased earlier, um, in fact, on the show, we, we were teasing this throughout the week, uh, how to eliminate 90% of your heart disease risk and other disease. How many people would like to know a, a 90% uh, r- risk reduction? Raise your hands. A lot of you would. Of course you would. So that's what we're going to talk about now, things that you can do to reduce your risk of heart disease and other uh, diseases as a home remedy, because this is something you have to do at home can't do this, uh, you know, it's not a pill you can take. It's things you have to do. There's a study called the Interheart Study, and it showed that men and women, young and old, all areas of the world, nine potentially modifiable, fa- modifiable factors like diet, exercise, and smoking accounted for greater than 90% of the proportion of the risk of heart disease. And this has been confirmed with many other studies. So there's just a few things that you can do. And the cool part about nutrition is this. You don't have to do a lot. You have to not do things. You have to not eat alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. What you do need to do is eat more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. I would recommend Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source as a starting point for uh, nutrition. And then we can always add digestive enzymes, vitamin D, other supplements as well. Um, but the minimum you should take is Super Greens and Essential Source. Folks, I'm odds playing the music. That means i got to go to break. If you have a health question, lines are open. 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE, my website. Hey, do me a favor. Tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Does this sound like you? Neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches? Chances are you'd benefit from chiropractic care. Most people benefit from chiropractic care because chiropractic care tries to get to the cause of your problems and not just cover up the symptoms. If you're ready to get well, I want you to go to my website, drjoe.com, or call 844-44-DR-JOE and make an appointment for you, your friends, and your family today. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Make an appointment today so we can help get you well and keep you well. So do you know what triclosan is? Triclosan, yes. Triclosan. Ah, oh, you could have had close. a bell. It's so close. close. Oh, knocked over my books there. I got so excited. <laughs> get, stay. You just got a little crazy. Triclosan, <laughs> yes, I know. I was, gonna get, I was ready for the bell with them. <laughs> oh, man. Triclosan is a chemical that's found in uh, hand sanitizers. And it's an endocrine disruptor. So please, 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 I'm begging you, don't use the commercial hand sanitizers because they have tr- many of them c- contain triclosane. Hold on, though. I want to see. I want to hear this being said. I don't believe you.
try close, Sam. I'm right! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got him! I'm gonna give him a bunch of bells on that. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Oh, <laughs> I've been <laughs> defeated. Right. Has to be right. That's it. <laughs> I know my phonetics. That's right, man. My fun my phonotics, right? <laughs> so triclosan is a chemical, it's an endocrine disruptor, it's found in hand sanitizer. So if you want to make your own hand sanitizer, which you can, go to my website, drjoe.com, and we have the recipe right there. And the recipe is very simple. It's equal parts of any type of alcohol, vodka would work well, uh, or rubbing alcohol, uh, uh, witch hazel, and then you can add a little uh, tea tree oil in there. And the tea tree oil is antibiotic, antiviral, and antifungal. And you could just use that much better, much safer, and please use that for your children. Don't let them use those commercial hand, hand sanitizers because it's messing with their hormones. The tricla sand. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the question there was whether or not tricla sand was toxic. Yes. Well, it's toxic because it's an endocrine disruptor, so the answer is yes. Perfect. Um, now, my sister's joined the stream for the first time, it appears. Hi, sis. Hey there. Uh, and she wanted to know about GERD. Gastroesophageal reflux disease. Mm -hmm. Number one article on our website. If you go to drjoe.com, look under articles, uh, blog, boom, it's number one article. GERD is when the stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm, and there's a little hole in the diaphragm called lower esophageal sphincter. And when you eat food, it falls through the sphincter, you close it, you digest food, and you pass it on. If you have GERD, the stomach is pushed up into the diaphragm, causing the acid to reflux up into the esophagus, gastroesophageal reflux disease. It's not really a disease, it's a condition, but you're not there. And so what we do is we manually pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm so that the stomach can start digesting food again normally. And when we do that, patients like want to name their kids after us because it's like the greatest thing in the world. And the stomach's job is to take proteins and break them into amino acids. And amino acids create neurotransmitters in your brain. And so now the brain starts to work better. All the nerves start to work better when you fix the stomach. So it's really important to get that fixed. And what's your sister's name, by the way? Megan. Hi, Megan. I didn't even know you had a sister. How about that? Oh, you're, oh, you're talking about yourself. Yeah. I thought you were reading a uh, comment. My sister's not on no. this earth anymore, so it's not her. So. I thought you were reading a comment about somebody's sister. No, his oh, sister. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, hey, like Megan. I scripting? Hi, oh, Megan. No, Sierra says hi. It's a family reunion here, apparently. So. I don't know if you ever told me you had a sister. Are you yeah. hiding something from me? Sister and three brothers. You. Sister and three brothers. Secret life. <laughs> I Garrett. have uh, one of my brothers has two little girls, two two nieces of mine. You have nieces too? I do. I and my sister you. has a son and a daughter. I know nothing. Oh yeah, he's got lots of nieces and nephews. Say, man. And, then, Jeez. and then your other brother has a son oh, as well. <laughs> so yes, well, I, I always forget because no one ever thought that he would settle down. <laughs> oh, we don't have to settle down to have kids. I don't know if you knew that or not. No. <laughs> well, he did. It's a new thing out there, yeah. So. And uh, we know yeah. what causes that now. So. <laughs> I think we just had a show about that. Yes, we did, as a matter of fact. Yeah, go to the website, drjoe.com. <laughs> Ahmad and DeMarco are in there laughing and having fun. Man, I don't know what they're talking about. So, uh, anyway, hi, Megan. There's questions. Yeah, but, oh, yeah so, oh, what are we doing here? That's right. We do a show here, don't we? Yes. Okay. Oh, coming back, I think. Hold on. Can you go over the right no, go ahead, real quick question, go ahead. Um, opinions on, you've already given this, but CBD for inflammation and sleep. I'm okay, just make sure it's a real CBD oil. There's so many scammers out there, so I don't know how to find a good CBD oil. Garrett can help you with that. Full spectrum. Full spectrum. Good quality. Good quality, full spectrum CBD. There you go, because it, it affects the cannabinoid system. I love that word, cannabinoid. Oh, here we go. Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito on WSB. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. It's a lady with us today. We're talking about home remedies that really work. And boy, phones are lighting up. We're getting lots of, lots of buzz on social media here. So obviously a hot topic. If you have any healthcare questions, you can call us here at the studio, 844-44-DR-JOE. 844-44-DR-JOE. That number, by the way, rings through to my office is when I'm not on the air. So if you want to make an appointment, you want to order supplements, you have questions, you can either send them to me through the website or you can call 844-44-DR-JOE during business hours and uh, my staff is more than happy to help you in any way we can. So I teased before the break, we we're talking about uh, ways to eliminate 90% of risk of heart disease and other diseases. Sounds like a good home remedy, doesn't it? Well, it's everything Dr. Joe ever taught. Getting the diet straightened out, getting the nervous system working, getting your digestive system working and it was all verified by the internet, uh, inter-heart study, I'm sorry. 
So uh, let's see here. Uh, healthy lifestyle, we talked about that. Maintain optimal weight, eating healthy, exercising. It can reduce uh, the risk of multiple chronic diseases, not just heart disease and diabetes, uh, but stroke as well. Up to 80% of strokes are avoidable with simple lifestyle changes. Anybody ever have a stroke or know somebody who had a stroke? Raise your hands. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. And what happens is it's, you, it's usually a, a blood supply issue to one side of the brain. So if you have a stroke and you're paralyzed on the right side of your body, the problem is in the left side of your brain. So the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body. The right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. So little things you can do, like changing your diet, of course, is huge. But I'm going to go off on a tangent here for a second. <laughs> what a shock. Dr. Joe going on a tangent. Most of us use one side of the brain all day. We use, uh, like I'm right-handed, so I use the left side of my brain more. Uh, you know, I, I answer the phone. I, I, I open a, the car door. I brush my teeth. Right-handed. So that's using the left side of the brain. The right side of the brain is not getting as much input. So it's important that the brain is integrated, not segregated. And unfortunately, we segregate our brains almost every day. We use one side and not the other. So it's really important. If you want to really improve uh, everything in your life, you want to use the other side of the brain more often. So a little trick you can do is try, if I'm right-handed, try to use my left hand. Maybe open a door with my left hand. Maybe brush my teeth with my left hand. I use an electric toothbrush, so it's easier. With a manual toothbrush, it might be a little harder. Um, but try to use both sides of the brain. And a trick you can do, I hadn't talked about this in a while, is, Ahmad, tell us what it is. Uh, is it the cross-crawl? Cross-crawl. There you go. go. There you go. And it's, it's great because uh, Ahmad's Ma been my how – long, how long have you been a producer with us? Oh, man. Like since I had hair, right? I think it's been, it's been that long. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> and it's great because um, you know, Ahmad, he has to absorb things, I guess, just by uh, you know, osmosis there. But I'll see him in his studio sometimes, and he'll be marching in the studio, and he brings his right elbow to his left knee and his left elbow to his right knee. And I know right away he's doing his cross-crawl because he learned that that integrates the brain and helps the brain work more efficiently. So a little trick you can do, a little home remedy, this is more for brain function and overall health, is do the cross crawl. And what you can do is get out of bed, and when you march to the bathroom, march, left arm, right leg, left arm, uh, left, le left arm, right leg, left, right, 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 right arm, left leg. And now whoever you live with is going to think you're crazy, okay, because you, you're, you're walking like a crazy person, but you're, start, you're jump starting the brain first thing in the morning, which is just crazy good. So try that, and whenever you're tired, uh, if you have a big presentation you have to do, if you're going to go uh, you know, going on a hot date, you want to get your energy up. If you're a sports uh, 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 participant, you can do this before a sporting event. And it's amazing how it builds up your coordination and your balance and your brain function. So right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. It's called the cross crawl. So we talked about a stroke. Like I said, I, I drifted away there for a second. So if somebody has damage to their left side of the brain, the right side of the body isn't working, from a chiropractic standpoint, we stimulate the left side of the brain. We adjust just the right side. We adjust the neck, the elbow, the shoulder, the foot, the hip, the ankle. We're sending a barrage of neurological impulses up to the left side of the brain and try to get it to reboot. And so years ago, when, uh, when I was in school, we were taught that once a brain cell was dead, it was dead forever. And it turns out that's not true because the brain can actually regenerate brain cells. But the brain also has something called plasticity. Plasticity means the brain is like plastic. It can remold and remodel itself. So you can rewire around damaged parts of the brain. This is why when people have strokes, if they get the proper therapy, whether it's chiropractic care, physical therapy, or both usually, they start to see major improvement on the side that was paralyzed because the brain has plasticity. And I remember being a student and thinking that, wait a minute, you're telling me brain cells are dead forever, but why do people get better then? Well, now the research is out and it shows plasticity. So it's really kind of cool that you can actually help to re rebuild the brain. Um, and you can do that with nutrition, eating the right foods, things like Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Oxygen, making sure you're breathing. And if you have acid reflux or heartburn, the stomach can be pushed up against the diaphragm so you're not getting enough oxygen. So many times that leads to sleep apnea. It leads to snoring. And it leads to the body not getting enough oxygen. And the brain needs oxygen, stimulation, and nutrition. So if you cross-crawl, you, you listen to shows, go to my website, drjoe.com, listen to all 1,000-plus hours of shows, and that's going to give you neurological input into the brain. You're exercising your brain. Then you're going to breathe right by fixing the stomach. Then you're going to eat right by taking things like super greens and essential source. Another supplement I'd recommend for brain function is nitric oxide. Dr. Joe's nitric oxide, it opens up the blood vessels and increases circulation. And boy, does it ever work. It'll give you energy. It helps in the romantic department because it increases circulation to the romantic parts. 
Uh, it helps with blood flow to the areas that are di damaged in the body, so the body heals faster. Really neat stuff. I can't take the nitric oxide at night. It keeps me awake. I have to take nitric oxide in the morning, and it gives me energy throughout the day. And so a lot of people, when they take the super greens, the essential source, and then they might even add nitric oxide, they give up their coffee. And they save a ton of money because they're not buying coffee, and they're, they're taking the super greens, the essential source, so they feel better. Now, it's not going to happen overnight. Some people take it and say, Doc, I took it yesterday. I didn't see anything. It may take time to build up your nutrition stores because you depleted them for so many years. So the super greens, the essential source, and nitric oxide can help with circulation to the brain. Um, and that's what we're talking about today. We go back to our original topic, which was uh, strokes and 90% and of reduction of risk of heart disease and other diseases. So how does this compare to drugs? Let's do a little comparative study. Why change your diet, lose weight, and start exercising if you just pop some pills? Pharmacological therapies, including cholesterol-lowering statin drugs and blood pressure pills, typically only reduce cardiovascular disease risk, not by 90%, by only 20%, maybe 30%. Even so, um, uh, even on drugs, 70 to 80% of heart disease still occur. So if you change your diet, you're going to reduce your risk by 80 to 90%. If you take the medications, you're only going to reduce it by about 30%. So if you're serious about wanting to get well, you can then do that. Now, I'm not saying don't take the medication. That's not my job. But many times when our patients do what we say, get chiropractic care, get the digestive system fixed, get on good diets, start taking the supplements, they don't need the medications anymore. And that's my goal. I want to get you well enough that you don't need the medications anymore. So one of the great things about this study, Harvard Health Professionals followed up on the same study, and is that they looked at the effect of lifestyle changes on people already on medications. Even those on cholesterol and blood pressure medications may be able to further 78% drop their risk by eating and living a healthy lifestyle. So even if you're on the medications, it still works. So you don't have to do one or the other. If you want to, you can do both, but hopefully you won't need one of them then. So the choice isn't diet or drugs. The choice is get the diet right so maybe you don't need the drugs. Cardiovascular medications can be used uh, in ad as an adjunct uh, not just uh, uh, by themselves. You really got to get your lifestyle changed. If you don't know what to do, you can go to our website, drjoe.com. We have a thousand hours of podcast there you can listen to. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge in the Atlanta area. Stop suffering needlessly, folks. If you have a healthcare problem, neck pain, back pain, come see us. And most people, most patients are very, very happy when they do. You can make an appointment right online, drjoe.com. Hey, folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Give us a call with any healthcare questions, 844 44 Joe. Okay, there we go. All right. It's always fun when I'm on the air. I see, see numbers pop up, and it's not our number. And it, it must be like scam calls coming in because <laughs> we have a lot of numbers here. So it must be those, you know, those robocalls. Because I see, uh, I'll see the Marco pick it up. Click, hang up right away. What do you got? I don't have anything right now. On no questions? Program. Excellent. I guess you're just given so much knowledge that I don't have any. Oh, I lied. I'm leaking knowledge. I was leaking something. I know. <laughs> I gotta get that checked. So <laughs> I was told that I had signs in my brain that I had a mini stroke years ago. The doc asked to remember. I said no. What? I don't know what that's about. Um, I was fifty when they told me that. Now I'm fifty-six. Is this a precursor of things to come? Could be. Yeah, if you had a mini stroke, there was probably some weakened blood vessels. So a couple of things you don't want to do. Number one is you never, ever, ever want to use one of those inversion tables. Not a good idea. Having an inversion table can increase the pressure inside your brain, and that would be bad. Okay, um, Getting chiropractic care to make sure you're getting all the nerves opening up. Uh, getting on a good diet, cleaning out the arteries, making sure you're eating a plant-based diet. So, yeah, that's a, that's a precursor. That's telling you something's wrong. You don't want to mess with that. So. What else? Any other questions? Garrett? No questions. So, wait, wait, wait. Those inversion tables, things that like flip you upside down yeah. and they swear up and down on TV that work? Yeah, well, they, they do work for some things, but they're not a good idea. I, I, I don't recommend them using them because they increase what's called the intraocular and intrathecal pressure, brain in, pressure inside your brain and spinal cord. And when that occurs, uh, you can actually blow out blood vessels. And now the old days, we used to have boots that you'd hang upside down, and that was really bad. But the inversion tables were a little safer. Uh, but I'd still rather come see us because every table in all our offices uh, is a pumping mechanism. You lay on the table and the bottom part, it pumps, it pulls apart your low back and your pelvis, pumping cerebrospinal fluid up to the brain, but it also opens up the disc spaces. So it's much safer, much more effective without the risk. So yeah, I don't like those inversion tables. Because you don't know you have a weakened blood vessel until it pops. Too late then.
What else? Any other questions? You're awfully quiet over there on Facebook there, Mr. G. Well, we had some difficulties. Yeah, I think. Oh, so we lost a lot of folks, yeah. No, we, no, we, had, we had a lot of people come back in. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis. I have it extremely bad, only in my left foot. Uh -huh. I've had acupuncture and dry needling, and it's not helping. Right. Plantar fasciitis or fasciitis, either one is correct. It's kind of like triclosane or triclosin. Oh. <laughs> If you were here earlier, that, that's a running joke Karen, I now have. So. <laughs> the, there's one-fourth of all the bones in your body are in your feet. So if one of those bones moves out of place, it puts pressure on the fascia, which is the connective tissue. If you've ever eaten chicken, that white connective tissue that holds the muscles together, that's called fascia. So the fascia can become inflamed, and that causes the plantar fasciitis, or fasciitis. So what we need to do is adjust the foot, put the bones back in place, and then we got to check the nerves in the low back, because the nerves in the low back control the foot. And if we can do those two things, in most cases, we get rid of the plantar fasciitis because we're treating the cause of the problem, not just treating the symptoms. So come see us, is what bottom line there. What else? I did not know that's what you called is my least favorite part of chicken when I still ate it. There you go. The fascia. Um, so why does the table make me nauseous? The adjusting table? Mm -hmm. Because it's pumping cerebrospinal fluid, and sometimes if the neck is out of alignment, that can cause some problems too. So if it does cause it, just tell us, and we'll either go slower with it, and if we go slower, that usually solves the problem. We can set the speed on those tables. So back to the lady that um, the doctor told her that she had signs of a mini stroke. Yes. She said she didn't even know that she had it. Sure. But she still could have. Yes. So, so. um, so she said, "Do I stay away from the seven deadly sins?" Well, the answer is yes, of course. Always. Yeah, I mean, let's assume you didn't have a stroke. Or well, let's assume you did. The treatment's the same. Stay away from bad food, eat good food. It's pretty simple. So, so the answer is yes. And get on Super Green's an essential source. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but too much? <laughs> trying to come up with a good coupon code. Oh, Garrett's got always spending my money again. He's killing me here. I got some funny ideas for this one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if you guys could only see what goes on here. Well, you can see what goes on. We only see my end. We've got to put cameras on you guys, I think. No, we're the behind the cameras. That's people. right. You're behind the scenes, folks. You're okay. Poor Sierra, man. She, she, you know, she's dating Garrett. Garrett gets a job here. Next thing you know, she's doing makeup for me. She's doing production. She's doing... Uh, all with no pay. All with no pay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so she's looking for a job. Anyone looking for someone with a degree in uh, media? Now she does my... Uh, uh, um, teleprompter. Teleprompter, even. She I double in many things. She does my teleprompter. Boy, what a resume this girl has now. <laughs> teleprompter, makeup artist. She's not cheap. She's that's, free. That's right. There you go. <laughs> we do the TV. She gets up there and she puts my makeup on me. A friend of mine's a makeup artist and he gave me this special stuff to block the, the, the glare off my forehead. And we did. It really works. In fact, the TV people even took a picture of yep, it, right? Took a picture we of we need to get this up here. This stuff works yeah. great. What else we got? Um... Okay. I had a question for you or oh. Ah. Um ah. Is, do you think that like with the stomach, the hiatal hernia and stuff, mm -hmm. um is is that caused by eating like or can that be caused by eating bad you food? At our show that we did on hiatal hernia, were well, you? <laughs> I might not have been paying attention all The answer time. is yes. Yeah, the, too much food, gas building up in the colon, trauma, lifting wrong, all of that can push the stomach up into the diaphragm. Yeah. Garrett's making notes. I'm going to let you decide. All right, let's see here. <laughs> a little brash. Okay, promo code. Okay, blowout. Uh, what do you think? I'm going to be generous. 20%. 20% off. All right. God, he loves to spend my money, this guy. I'm going to wait till the end, though. That's very I don't need a Wi Fi, I have Garrett. You know? <laughs> he spends all my money for me. <laughs> me too. Tuesday, mostly sunny. That's right. Very cold. <laughs> a lot of money, too. Very cold. High 43. Lows 24 to 28. 50 degrees on Pete Street Street. Here we go. High 5 and AM 750 WSB. Depend on it. Does sound like to you? Neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches. Chances are you'd benefit from chiropractic care. Most people benefit from chiropractic care because chiropractic care tries to get to the cause of your problems and not just cover up the symptoms. If you're ready to get well, I want you to go to my website, drjoe.com, or call 844-44-DR-JOE 
and make an appointment for you, your friends, and your family today. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Make an appointment today so we can help get you well and keep you well. If you ignore your health, it will go away. Listen to Dr. Joe Esposito on News 95.5 and AM 750 WSB. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're with us today. We're talking today about home remedies that really, really work. If you have any health care questions, we have two more segments. You want to get them in now. The number here at the studio is 844-44-DR-JOE, and that number, 844-44-DR-JOE, rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. So if you need to call us to make an appointment or questions, you can always let us know that. Um, we talked, we're talking about uh, now eliminating your risk of heart disease and other diseases by 90%. And here's the thing. I have a, a folder, and it's called the Dr. Joe was right folder. And these are things that I've talked about 10, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and now they're mainstream. You know, the one classic example I remember was I was talking about margarine, hydrogenated oils, and how it's linked to heart disease. And then one day on CNN, they actually had a report that says the number one cause of heart disease is hydrogenated oils, mainly found in margarine. And my mother called me up, and she said, did you see this report on CNN? And I said, yeah. And she said, I'm not sure if you're a nut or a prophet. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> and I said, probably a little bit of both. But a lot of the things we talk about become mainstream. So a lot of the research that you're seeing in, in, in orthodox medicine is stuff that was researched and, and became, you know, to the forefront 10, 20 years ago, and now it's become mainstream. So you got to realize the things we're talking about now are going to change your life if you start doing them right away. Uh, another thing we got to talk about when it comes to home health is making sure your digestive system is working properly. And if your bowels aren't moving at least once a day, probably twice a day is better, uh, chances are we've got to do some things. Number one, as a chiropractor, we check the nerve supply in the low back because the nerves in the low back control the colon, the sex organs, and the bladder. So if you have pinched nerves in the low back, that can be affecting the colon, sex organs, and bladder, and you want to get that fixed. Uh, you may have the stomach up against the diaphragm. That We talked a couple of weeks ago on digestion, and there's a valve called the ileocecal valve, and this is something you can do at home. If you have digestive problems, constipation, diarrhea, there's a, there's a valve. It's between your belly button and your, and your hip, your right hip. If you draw a line between your belly button, your right hip, and right in the middle, I want you to lay on your back and push with your hands, and you want to push pretty strong, pretty deep, and you'll feel something that feels like the tip of your nose, and it's about the size of a silver dollar. That's called the ileocecal valve. And by massaging the ileocecal valve, you can get it to relax and start working properly because it opens and closes. It's, it's a sphincter. It opens and closes. And so if the ileocecal valve is stuck open, you might have diarrhea. If it's stuck closed, you might have constipation. So you can get in there and actually massage the ileocecal valve and many times that helps with your digestive system. And these, again, we're talking about home remedies that really work. This is something you can do at home. Uh, we have a product that's called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Formula. And if you need to jumpstart the digestive system, this stuff works great. And what I recommend is take one pill at night, and you can go to the website, drjoe.com, or come to our offices. Take one pill at night, and if the bowels are working normally the next day, you just need one. If it's not working normally, take two the next day. If not, take three the next day. Don't take more than three. Trust me, I had a patient take six one time. She was not happy with me. I said, what are you mad at me for? I didn't tell you to take them. I thought three, six would be better than three. I said, eh. So it, that'll help get the bowels working uh, properly, and it's a really, really good formula. In fact, we, when we run out of it every now and then because we're really clear on uh, uh, our high standards that we have, patients go nuts when we run out of it. So that's on the website, drjoe.com, um, and that works really well too. And that's a nice formula that you want to take uh, just to get everything working again and then hopefully get your diet straightened out so you don't need it. So it's just like uh, medicine. I want you to only take it if you need it, but then get well enough so that you don't need it. So as we continue on about uh, things, uh, home remedies that really work, the big question I get several times a day is, Dr. Joe, you're a plant-based uh, vegan. Where do you get your protein from? How many people want to ask me that question? Raise your hands. All of you, right? Everybody. Yeah, Garrett wants to know it too. Garrett knows this already because he's been around me long enough. So, so people want to know where do you get your protein from? Here's the thing with protein. Your body only needs about 8% of its total caloric intake as protein. Anything beyond that is wasted. So what happens is if you're putting all this extra protein in your body, the body has to filter out the protein. Now, what's 8% look like? Well, a carrot is 6%. I mean, that's how simple it is. So you're eating a steak, 18 20% protein, way too much protein for the kidneys. And what happens is we put such a major stress on the kidneys, you can develop something called kidney disease. And about one in eight of us now have chronic kidney disease, whether you know it or not. That's a scary number. So right now, there's one, two, three, four, there's five of us 
And out in the studio, there's about eight people in the studio right now. Statistically speaking, one of us is starting to develop kidney failure. That's some scary stuff. I know it's not the people in here because we all eat right, right? It must be those people out there. So. so that's a big problem. So the Western-style diet is a major risk of impaired kidney function and chronic kidney diseases. It's also known as the standard American diet, the SAD, S-A-D, standard American diet, or the meat-sweet diet. Because what do people eat? Meats and sweets. And that becomes a big issue because you're just not eating the right, um, you're eating way too much protein. And that can cause impairment of kidney blood flow. And once that happens, you start to get inflammation and then there's leakage of protein into the urine and then you have re rapid decrease in kidney failure. That's why if you take a urine sample, they're looking for protein. And if you start having high amounts of protein in there, it could be an infection, it could be kidney failure. Saturated fats. Trans fats, cholesterol that's found in animal products and almost all junk food, they all negatively affect your, your kidney function. Now, the consumption of animal fat uh, is clearly, can clearly alter kidney function, and animal protein can deliver an acid load to the kidneys, increase ammonia production, and damage those sensitive kidney cells. So the animal protein and the junk food that we're eating really is having an adverse effect on our kidneys. That's why restricting protein intake is recommended when you have kidney failure, how many people you know somebody with kidney failure and they recommend cutting back on your protein? Well, there's the problem. I, I, I've told this story a while ago. A friend of mine came to me and I've known him years ago and he was very heavy, a uh, big, tall, uh, heavy set guy and he had bad diabetes and high blood pressure. So he had his stomach stapled. We had his stomach stapled. He, they said, eat a high protein diet. So he went on a high protein diet. He came to me, he's in stage four kidney failure now. He's, he may need a kidney transplant or he may die. And it's interesting because they said, well, with the stomach stapled, you need a lot of protein. That's not true. Because all that extra protein affecting his kidneys plus the damage from the diabetes, now his kidneys are failing. So when I first started in practice years ago, we hardly ever saw kidney failure patients. Now we see them almost every week. We have a new one or two new kidney failure patients coming in. Some really scary stuff going on out there. And that's because people are eating too much protein. And it's not just the amount of protein. It's the source of protein, plant versus animal protein. That may be more important than the amount you're actually eating. Animal protein intake has a profound effect on normal kidney function. Uh, it's, it's called hyperfiltration, and that can increase the workload on kidneys. So this may explain why kidneys fail so often. Unlimited intake of protein-rich foods, which is what a lot of people eat all day, every day, now generally regarded as normal. I mean, you know, if you look back at your grandparents, uh, you know, I have a, a German ancestry and Italian ancestry. We would have a meal with a little bit of protein, a little bit of animal, and then a lot of vegetables. And that's how everyone ate. Now we're eating just so much protein and you're seeing these high protein diets. Let's lose weight. Let's go on this high protein diet. A lot of this is the cause of serious kidney failure. So folks, I, I really want you to get the fact that you don't need more protein. You need less protein. And if you want to eat a lot of protein, please, I'm begging you, make it a plant-based source because the plant-based proteins don't seem to have um, the effects uh, that the animal protein does, which is really kind of cool. Sustained rather than intermittent excess of protein requires us to call on our kidneys reserve constantly. So if you have a big protein meal and then you don't have it again for a while, the kidneys can heal. If you have sustained protein, that's where the problems come in. So folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. We're talking today about home remedies that really work. If you have a healthcare question, last segment, give us a call at 844 doctor Joe. That number, by the way, rings through to my office is when I'm not on the air. So if you want to make an appointment to come see us, if you have questions, join business hours, 844-44-DR-JOE. Uh, my website, 24 hours a day, drjoe.com. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. If you're like most people, you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, headache. Time to stop suffering, and it's time to take action. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, why don't you come see me and my team of doctors, and let's see if you have a problem that we can help. Go to my website, drjoe.com, or call 844-44-DR-JOE to make an appointment today because so many of you are out there suffering needlessly, and we want to put a stop to that. Come see us at our offices in Marietta, Stockbridge, and Duluth. Make an appointment today so we can help get you well and keep you well. Are you experiencing hot flashes? All right. Last segment. You social media folks. Last set of questions. So how common, common is tethered cord syndrome? always attributed my brain fog to diet, candida, etc. Mm -hmm. But do have some slight scoliosis. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts? Yeah, yeah. You put pressure on the spinal cord uh, and it's going to affect the nerve impulses. Now, uh, nerves are like guitar, guitar strings. If they're too tight or too loose, they're not going to carry the neurological impulses properly. 
So in a tethered cord syndrome, it's putting stress on the spinal cord and absolutely positively could be affecting it. Now, every scoliosis patient I've ever seen, and I've seen thousands of scoliosis patients, there's a muscle spasm called a psoas. The psoas runs from your spine to your leg, and it's a reason you can flex your leg. And if it if psoas spasms, it pulls the spine out of place, and then that causes the curvature to start. Isn't that what yes. What, am I waving to somebody? That's Garrett's no. problem. I have scoliosis. Oh, okay. I tore my psoas. Yes, there you go. Right, I'll come say, yeah, so Garrett's, Garrett's living proof. Yeah, Garrett, we can do just shows on Garrett, I think. We can do a whole year of nothing but Garrett shows. Between Garrett and his scoliosis and my jaw problem. Yeah, right, and then the ADD, and what else? We can just do Garrett, Garrett and Sierra shows from now on. All of a sudden, the phone's We've got all the issues. <laughs> Um, yeah, so many times with the scoliosis, you need to get it fixed. And no matter how old you are, if we get the psoas to come out of spasm, usually we can make some good changes uh, in the scoliosis, and that can take the stress off the spinal cord and the, and the, the, the tethering of the cord. Um, are organic, range-free eggs okay eating two to four a week? If you're going to eat eggs, they need to be organic, and the answer is if that's your choice, they're okay, yes. They're you know not good. Gedmatch. No, I don't know what that is. Well, is, is that like match.com? I don't know. I don't know. So at the very least, are you 100% Italian? No, 50-50. Okay. Sorry, half German, half Italian. But 100% half German, half Italian, yeah. Grandparents from Germany, grandparents from Italy. Came over on the boat. Got off in New York and stayed. And that was it. So, I'm a mutt. You're a mutt? You got a mutt. little bit of everything, huh? Mm -hmm. Nope, it's pretty clear. I trace my lineage back and it stays in Germany and Italy. It goes all the way back, so it's kind of cool. You're welcome, Chris. Nabilitan. And Bob Canal. <clears throat> yeah, you guys, we, we really do need to put cameras on like the rest of the studio. Uh -huh. Because you completely miss your struggling to get her jacket on. That's why I, when you see me make weird faces, it's one of those two doing something bizarre. I don't know okay, what they're doing. Well, I started putting my jacket on <laughs> and then I realized how jingly it was. So I tried to move. Oh, is that what it was? That's why I stepped back. Okay. I was wondering, she had her jacket up like this and then she I just stopped. And I was like, what oh, is like, like walked <laughs> across the room halfway with her. Okay, well, I realized how much noise it was making. She looked like Rocky to Flying the Squirrel the there. So. <laughs> Jingle all over Dr. Joe trying to answer. That's questions. right. Very strict in here. We run a tight ship here. <laughs> no joking around. Any thoughts on methyl sulfonyl methane? What? Well, if you need methyl groups, methylization of the cells is really important to make the Krebs cycle work. So if you're not getting good methylization, that would be some, uh, that would be something you can take. Absolutely. Yes. What about some natural ways to support or treat MS? Oh, MS, absolutely, positively, no artificial sweetener. In fact, aspartame mimics MS symptom for symptom. So zero artificial sweetener, because the aspartic acid is an excitotoxin to the brain. And many people think they have MS. Now, if you have MS, and you had an MRI, and it was negative, and you didn't have the white focal spots in the brain, chances are it could be aspartame toxicity. So zero uh, dairy products and zero um, uh, artificial sweetener. Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Central Source, and Dr. Joe's B-Complex. You need the B vitamins to help build the nerve, the, the neurological, the sheath on the nerve. So, yes. How did Dr. Joe decide to live here in Atlanta? I made, went to Alabama, made a left, and there I was. So, <laughs> and I went to school here. And at 23 years old, I graduated third in my class. Super genius. Is that me? No. And I didn't know what to do, so I was going to stay here for a couple of years, maybe, and then I was going to go to Alabama, uh, Florida, which I'm still licensed in Florida. And it didn't work out. It didn't work out. I just never did it. So, <laughs> what have you mentioned? Uh, you have mentioned ACV several times, apple cider vinegar. Uh -huh. What impact does this work on your gut health? Can this help with pancreas function? Yes, it stimulates digestive enzymes from the stomach, which helps take the stress off the pancreas. I would also take Dr. Joe's digest no, digest no, uh, digestive enzymes as well. Maybe Especially if you eat cooked Stop food. suffering and start getting well. Zito is on WSB. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're hanging, hanging around with us. If you're just joining us, welcome. And we're talking about home remedies that really work, and I've got a bunch of callers here. So let me start taking some callers. I'll try to get to all of you. If you have a question, 84444 Dr. Joe. And if I don't get to my notes, we'll just do another show on these topics, which is pretty simple. Uh, I think another Lisa. Lisa, how can we make your day better? Hi, Dr. Joe. How are you doing today? Oh, lots of Lisas today, yes. <laughs> I have a cousin named Lisa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was wondering to know about if a CBD D was good for neuropathy. CBD oil, it can be, yes. But once again, you got to make sure it's a pure form of CBD um, because there's a lot of, we talk about this a lot, this is, it's, it's the wild, wild west, and you, you might be getting some junk stuff out there. So 
Uh, with the CBD oil, it might work. But once again, the CBD is, is like a medication. It's only going to treat the symptom. It's uh -huh. not necessarily going to get to the cause. So with neuropathy, you got to check your diet. Uh, so it's called full-spectrum CBD oil. Make sure it's a full-spectrum CBD oil. Uh -huh. And uh, check your diet. Check the pinched nerves from a chiropractic standpoint. Check for pinched nerves. And that'll help get to the cause of the neuropathy, not just treat the symptoms. Okay. And what about the protein? You said not eat a lot of it for a kidney. Yeah, for anybody. You don't need a lot of protein. Yeah. How much do you have? To Only about 8% of your total caloric intake is protein. So, I mean, I've been plant-based now for, you know, 32, 34 years, whatever it is. Uh -huh. And um, I I'm fine. You know, my protein levels are fine, so don't take too much protein. If you're eating a good diet and you're maintaining your weight, chances are you're getting more than enough protein. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Good Appreciate day. it. Oh, man. Somebody called her. So little time. Let's see. Karen, how can we make your day better? Hey, um, I had a gastric bypass four and a half years ago. Yes. And I had my last physical a month ago. My ferritin level is 466. <laughs> yes. Is there anything I can do to lower Yes. I have to take iron every day because of the bypass. Right. So you have to, but your iron is too high in the blood, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can donate blood. First of all, that's an easy one. Um, so I would go offer to donate blood um, and that'll help. And I recommend this for any, any man or any woman that's postmenopausal. Uh, you should be donating blood periodically, I feel, because it kind of gets, gets your body to start producing new ones. And for men, the ferritin levels, the iron levels can build up pretty quickly. It can oxidize in the blood, and that can actually cause uh, increased risk of heart disease. So with iron levels that high, you really want to do something about that. So donate blood. If for some reason you can't donate blood, you can actually get a prescription from a, a medical doctor to actually have the blood, you, you, to, to drain blood out of your body. I mean, you know, medically, not, 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 not at home. Don't do this at home. So okay. Um, okay. that's what I would do. And um, I would also stay away from animal proteins because they have a lot of iron that's hard to digest. It's called heme iron. Uh, plant-based iron is called non-heme iron, a lot easier to digest. So uh, once again, it goes back to a plant-based diet. And if you had the gastric bypass, super greens an essential source absolutely positively because they're easy to absorb nutrients. Okay? Okay. There you go. Thanks, right, Karen. Thank Appreciate you. the call. Never had a call like that before. That was a good one. Uh, folks, uh, last chance. If you have any questions, 844-44-DR-JOE. Neil, how can we make your day better? Uh, yes. My wife had, my wife wants to insert an embryo in her in her. Uh, in her, and she wants to clean her body, make sure it's pure for the embryo. Yes. And she eats a lot of protein and sweets. Uh huh. And so she's got uh, constipation. Sure. And so we're just wondering how long does she have to do to kind of cleanse that body to make her body pure for the embryo? Sure. Uh, that's a really good question, actually. I'm glad you did that. Well, first of all, she has to stop eating all the protein and the sweets because that's something she has control over. So going to a plant based diet would be great. Uh, if you go to website, drjoe.com, um, you could uh, type in uh, in the search bar, so what can I eat? And it'll bring up a, a one-hour lecture that I did on what she could be eating. Um, I'd recommend Super Green's an essential source. If she's constipated, I'd rec rec recommend Dr. Joe's intestinal formula to get the bowels working properly. And also, Neil, I would recommend we check her low back because those are the nerves to the uterus. And if we're going to implant an embryo in there, we want to make sure the nerve and blood supply to the uterus is as healthy as it can be. So I would check the spine. I would get on a plant-based diet, super greens, essential source, um, and also vitamin D because so often mothers uh, don't have the right amount of vitamin D or B. Um, that's why they recommend uh, B complex for women to prevent neural uh, tube damage. So Dr. Joe's super greens, essential source, B complex, and vitamin D, and check the nerve supply to low back. That's what I would suggest. And then the intestinal cleanser to get the bowels working. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Thanks, Joe. You're so great. Uh, my pleasure. Thanks so much. And hopefully he has a nice, healthy baby someday. Uh, let's see. Renna, how can we make your day better? Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just kind of wondering. My husband has these spots that keep coming up. And they're kind of, they say they're age spots, but they're like dark sure. moles. Uh -huh. And he goes to the dermatologist. They take them off. They're, they're not cancerous. But they seem to keep coming back. Okay. Yeah. A couple and of I was wondering if there's a home remedy for that. Yeah, he's got to clean out his liver because whenever I see skin issues, that's why they call them liver spots. Um, many okay. times it's a liver issue. So g cleaning up the diet is going to be number one. He's got to cut out the alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. Uh, more fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, nitric oxide support that's on the website too. That'll increase circulation uh -huh. to the liver. Uh, a lot of water. The water's going to flush out okay. the liver as well. Um, and, and then you can take coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil, and rub it on the spots every day. And it, usually after a week or two, that the f spot should start to fade as well. 
Oh, okay, coconut oil. There you okay, go. That's the working. magic, yeah. But he's got to straighten out his diet, too, okay? Okay, sounds Thanks, good. Randy. Appreciate the call. Thank Thanks you. so much. Ah, uh, boy, time flies, folks. Listen, if I didn't get to your questions, you can always send them to me through the website, drjoe.com. Uh, we have over 1,000 hours of podcasts on the website. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, folks, please do it. Stop waiting. Stop saying, oh, Dr. Joe's going to come see you a week ago, a year ago, 10 years ago, and now I'm finally here. Don't be one of those people. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, go to the website, drjoe.com, and uh, we'll, try, we'll get you an appointment as soon as possible. You can book it online or you can call us to do it. Uh, the website has over 1,000 hours of podcasts. Like I said, if you want to get allergy testing done, we can do sen food sensitivity testing right in the office. We can do a male hormone panel, a female hormone panel. We can do those tests so we can find out where you are and help better uh, judge exactly what we need to do for you. But all the supplements are available on the website, drjoe.com. Let me take one more caller here. Rhonda, how can we make your day better? Uh, yes, I've been told that I need a knee replacement, and I don't want to do that at age 60. Sure. I want to know if there's anything out there Yeah, um, I would, uh, that's well, better... The, Sure. The reason the knee, that. yeah, the reason the knees wear out or any joint wears out is because of it's misaligned. Osteoarthritis is mechanical. So if you have neck arthritis, shoulder arthritis, knee arthritis, the bones are out of place, rubbing up against each other. So step number one, I would put the knee back in place. I would check the nerve supply from the low back to the knees, and then I would get you on a good diet. And let's see if we can get that to heal. There are supplements that can help rebuild the cartilage. And uh, after that, if that doesn't get you where you want to be, I would recommend stem cell therapy. And then if that doesn't work, uh, by then probably uh, you may need the surgery, you may not, but very seldom do those, all those treatments not work. So that's what I would suggest. Okay, thank okay? you so much. Uh, my pleasure. Folks, the music says I'm out of time. If you have any healthcare questions, send them to me through the website, drjoe.com. Uh, you want to make appointments, do it on drjoe.com. If you've ever been in a car accident, ever, if the car were damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. That goes for you, your friends, your family, your children. We want to get you well and keep you well. Folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. If I don't say it enough, thank you so much. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And tell your friends about the show because we want to get them well, too. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Mason Tractor is... All right, social media. Thank you, guys. We do appreciate you being here. And share this with your friends. Garrett? Please share, whether you're on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. Uh, please share. Please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. All of that makes me look good. Our promo code. Promo and code. Yes, we have a promo code, uh, something to give back. Um, we just got restocked on all of our intestinal cleanser yes. slash formula. And coupon code is what? Blowout. Blowout. Oh, that's funny for the colon cleanser. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so blowout's the coupon code, 20% off. So, so, folks, again, thanks so much. Tell your friends about the show. Come see us. We can get you well and keep you well. And Garrett is going to say... Blowout is the code, 20% off. So type that in in the uh, coupon code area. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.